Hello everybody, this is Dave Vellante and we are covering HPE's big GreenLake announcements. We've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage, a ton of content. We've been watching GreenLake since the beginning and one of the things we said early on was let's watch and see how frequently, what the cadence of innovations that HPE brings to the market because that's what a cloud company does. So we're here to welcome you. Keith White is here, he's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of GreenLake. Cloud Services, runs the commercial business. Keith, thanks for coming on and help me kick off this kidding? event. Thanks for having me, it's awesome to be here. So Amazing. you guys got some momentum, right? orders, 40% growth, of a year, to year on year, you got a lot of momentum, customer growth. Yeah, Give no, us it's, it's fantastic, it's 46% growth. Oh, thank no, you I'm for that great. clarification. Uh, 46, no. <laughs> big difference between 40 and 46. No, I think what we're seeing is we're seeing the momentum happen mm. in the marketplace, right? We have a scenario where we're bringing the cloud experience to the customer on their premises. They get to have it uh, automated, self-serve, easy to consume. They pay for what they use. They can have it in their data center. They can have it at the edge. They can have it at the colo. And we can manage it all for them. And so they're really getting that true cloud experience. And we're seeing it manifest itself in a variety of different customer scenarios. You know, we talked about at Discover um, a lot of work that we're doing on the hybrid cloud side of the house and a lot of work that we're doing on the edge side of things with our partners. But, you know, it's exciting to see the explosion of data and how now we're providing this data capability for our customers. What are the big trends you're hearing from customers and how, how is that informing what you're doing with Green? I mean, I feel like in a lot of ways, Keith, <laughs> what happened last year, you guys were, were in a better position maybe than most. Yeah. Uh, but, but what are you hearing and, and how is that informing your, your go forward strategies? Yeah, I think it's really three things with customers, right? First off, hey, we're trying to accelerate our, our digital transformation and it's all becoming about the data. So help us monetize the data, help us protect that data, help us analyze it to make decisions. And so, you know, number one, it's all about data. Number two is, wow, this pandemic, um, you know, we need to look for cost savings. So we still need to move our business forward. We've got to accelerate our business, but help me find some cost savings with respect to what I can do. And third, what we're hearing is, hey, um, we're in a situation where um, there's a lot of different capabilities happening with our workforce. They're working from home, they're working hybrid. Help us make sure that we can stay connected to those folks, but also in a secure way, making sure that they have all the tools and resources they need. So those are sort of three of the big themes that we're seeing that uh, GreenLake really helps manifest itself with the data that we're doing now, with all the hybrid cloud capabilities, um, with the cost savings that we get uh, with respect to our platform, as well as with solutions such as VDI or, or workforce enablements that we we create uh, from a solution standpoint. So, what's the customer reaction? I mean, I, I, I mean, everybody now who has a big on-premise state has a, an as-a-service capability. A, a customer saying, oh yeah, that's, you know, how do you make it not me too in the customer conversations? Yeah, I think it turns into, um, you know, you have to bring the holistic solution to the customer. So yes, there's technology there and we're hearing from, you know, some of the competitors out there, yeah, we're doing as a service as well, um, but maybe it's a little bit of storage here, maybe it's a little bit of networking there. Customers need that end-to-end -end solution. And so as you've seen us announce over time, we've got the building blocks, of course, compute, storage, and networking, but everything runs in a virtual machine, everything runs in a container, or everything runs on the bare metal itself. Mm -hmm. And that package that we've created for customers means that they can do whatever solution or whatever uh, workload they want. So if you're a hospital and you're running Epic for your electronic medical records, you can go that route. If you're upgrading SAP and you're using virtual machines at a very large scale, you can use, use uh, GreenLake for that as well. So as you go down the list, there's just so many opportunities uh, with res respect to bring those solutions to our customers. And then you bring in our point next capabilities to support that. You bring in our advisory and professional services along with our ecosystem to help enable that. You bring in our HPE financial services to help fund that digital transformation. And you've got the complete package. And that's why customers are saying, hey, you guys are now partners of us. You're not just a hardware provider. You're a partner, you're helping us solve our business problems and helping us accelerate our business. So what should people expect today? You guys got some announcements. What should people look for? Well, I think this is, as we talked about, you know, now we're sort of uh, providing much more capabilities around the data side of the house because data is so, such, it's the gold, if you will, of a customer's environment. Mm -hmm. So first off, we want to do analytics. So we want an open platform that provides really a unified set of analytics capabilities. And this is where we have a real strong sweet spot with respect to uh, some of the, the software that we
we've built around Esmeral, but also with the hardware capabilities. As you know, we have all the way up to the Cray supercomputers that, that are doing all of the analytics for weather this or, or financial data that. So I think that's one of the key things. The second is you got to protect that data. And, uh, and so if it's going to be on-prem, I want to know that it's protected and secured, so how do I back it up? How do I have a disaster recovery plan? How do I watch out for ransomware attacks as well? So we're providing some capabilities there. And then I'd say lastly, because of all the experience we have with our customers now implementing these hybrid solutions, they're saying, hey, help me with this edge to cloud uh, framework and how do I do go and implement that on my own? And so we've taken all the experience and we've bucketed that into our edge to cloud adoption framework to provide that capability for our customers. So we, you know, we're really excited about, again, talking about solutions, talking about accelerating your business, not just talking about technology. I set up the top key that, that one of the ways I was evaluating you was the pace uh, and the cadence of the innovations and, and is, that, is that fair? Uh, how, you know, how do you guys think about that internally? Are you, yep. you know, are you pushing yourselves to go faster? I'm sure you are, but what's that conversation like? I think it's a great question because in essence, we're now pivoting the company holistically to being a cloud services and a software company. And that's really exciting. We're seeing that happen internally. But this pace of innovation is really built on what customers are asking us for. So now that we've grown to over 1,200 customers worldwide, you know, over $5 billion of total contract value, uh, you know, signing some, some large deals in a variety of solutions and workloads and verticals, et cetera, what we're now seeing is, hey, this is what we need. Help me with my uh, internal IT out to my business groups. Help me with my edge strategy as I build the factory of the future. Um, or you know, help me with my uh, data and analytics that I'm trying to accomplish for my uh, um, you know, uh, diagnosis of, of x-rays mm -hmm. and, and capabilities that, such as CareStream, if you will. So it's, it's exciting to see them come to us and say this is the capabilities that we're requiring and we've got our foot on the gas to provide that innovation and we're miles ahead of the competition. All right, we got an exciting day ahead. Uh, we got all kinds of technology discussions, solution discussions. We got, we got, we're going to hear from uh, the analyst community, really bringing you uh, the the full package uh, of announcements here. Keith, thanks for helping me set this up. Always, yeah. Thanks so much for having me. All right, Appreciate looking forward it. to today, and thank you for watching. Keep it right there. Tons of content coming your way. You're watching the Cube's coverage of HPE's big GreenLake announcement. Right back. <laughs>